With the launch of Rel's new rework, she hasn't been the greatest. On the surface, the Rel changes make absolutely no sense, and I agree with this. They increased her attack speed while unmounted, but took off the on-hit portion of her W. Her passive looks like a straight up nerf in a lot of situations, and they straight up reduced the base damage on a lot of her kit. But there's one build that I've been playing around with that I think could actually help fix these issues. Allow me to introduce you to my version of Jungle Rel. This is an AP-oriented build which takes advantage of the one thing that Riot gave the new Rel the most, clear speed. I would liken it to a Walmart version of Jungle Lilia, where she gets really nice buffs to her clear speed as she itemizes, and gets the tempo fairly hard to compensate for a weaker early game. Here's a quick breakdown of how we'll be going over the video. I'll touch on general concepts as Rel's new purpose as a champion, and what success looks like in games that you are doing well on her. We'll then discuss different components of her kit, and how we can work better to optimize each one of these. This includes going over different matchups, rune optimizations, ability maxing, your build, and how to play off each phase of the game. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, we'd really appreciate a like on it if it helped you out. Moving on. Let's start things off with the build. This is basically the defining feature of what makes this potentially the only viable rel build in the game right now. Most players are building tank on her thanks to her historical role as a support, but introducing ability power into her itemization not only gives her more agency, but ramps up her tempo extremely as time passes. This starts with my favorite mythic on her right now, Night Harvester. Now hold up, you might be thinking like, yo Quatch, what did I just hear bro? Did you just tell me to build Night Harvester on a support? Let's backtrack a bit and look at some of the rel changes. As of the timing of this video, rel's Q, W, and E all deal radically increased damage to jungle camps. The biggest thing that people skip over with these changes is that it actually magnifies rel's AP scalings on these camps, to the point where just a little bit of AP itemization grants her an insane boost on her clear speed. Night Harvester pretty much does a job here because it grants Rel every stat that she would realistically want in this case. The aforementioned AP, as well as health and ability haste, two other stats that are also very important for her uptime. Her relatively large AoE abilities also give her chances to proc it onto multiple targets. The result is a very uncanny level of clear speed. I would also say that Rocket Belt can be a similarly strong pickup if what you're looking for is more burst oriented, and you find that you'll benefit from the mobility of the Rocket Belt active. For Boots, I generally Really like going lucid for the spike in CDR and the ability to ramp up your clear speed as a byproduct of that. Sork shoes are a more demonic version of this, but can also work. After your mythic and boot core, I highly recommend opting for Zhonya's as a second item. If it wasn't obvious already, this rel build is a pretty damn squishy version of how she normally functions. Since Riot has shifted her passive resistances stealing away from just auto attacks but not onto her ability hits, rel can gain a lot of resistances while committing to her engage normally, remedying this slightly. However, she's very much just a fake tank with this this build, and Zhonya's gives you some pretty insane leverage in the mid-game team fights here. From here, your options tend to open up a little bit more, with a continued focus on that AP slash CDR slash health stat line, but also transitioning into more of an off-tank setup champion. I've tried this build with full AP as well, and it seems that Rel's scalings are just a little bit too low, and her high base cooldowns make it a little bit inconsistent damage. Items from here accept this fact, and transition Rel into being able to create good angles for her team, just like old Rel would be able to. This is just with a bit more agency and tempo on board. This means items like Cosmic Drive, Horizon Focus, Demonic Embrace, and even Imperial Mandate are pretty good pickups for her here. If you want to have more fun with it, you can basically just build more magic pen items like Shadow Flame and Morella Nomicon for increased bullshit levels, and it turns Rel into a pretty funny AP assassin. Even items like Lich Bane are pretty fun here as well. Runes are a bit of a funny topic with this build, because I actually had some trouble figuring out what to go for, because everything feels kind of bad. In the end, what I've determined to be the most useful is a build revolving around a Glacial Augment Keystone. This rune is surprisingly good on Rel now that her Q has a guaranteed stun element, so she can basically proc it off of one ability. I've seen players try and play around with Phase Rush or Aftershock, while these are intuitively decent runes to try out. However, when it comes to the practicality of the build and the champ, the combination of the Keystone with Glacial Augment with the cost saving runes and the rest of the Inspiration Tree, more often than not, I end up going with this tree on Rel the most. Combine Glacial Augment with Free Stopwatch, Futures Market, and Cosmic Insight, and you end up with a primary tree that ends up saving you a ton of gold and extracts a lot of value in the early game. This build is definitely demanding financially compared to her normal build, and Rel benefits a ton from these cost savings to accelerate into her mid-game spike. She ends up getting rewarded well for this anyways, since this early power spike grants her a welcome boost in her clear speed, which then basically provides her a tempo refund. For your secondary tree, I recommend leaning towards a sorcery page and then opting into Transcendence and Waterwalking. 
These are two solid runes that consistently provide a lot of value for Jungle Rail, and they seem to outweigh any added damage or durability from other trees in my opinion. Some of you might be familiar with Rail playstyles and find it surprising that I didn't actually take Hex Flash on her. With her new changes being fairly focused on increasing her engage output even further, I believe that Riot has removed the necessity for her to take this. Since this is a pretty much a brand new build for Rel, let's take 2 seconds to explain her new ability order. With her rework, and with this build in particular, you should be pretty much maxing Q every time, almost solely for the purpose of being able to access a lower cooldown per rank while increasing its damage. This creates a multiplicative boost for your clear speed as you farm to level 9. From here, maxing W then E last will generally be your most consistent ability maxing path. While we're here, we can talk a little bit about how these new Rel combos that you'll be seeing. Her new E has a little bit new creativity to the mix, but there isn't too much that's going to change. Rel's abilities do play well with each other as long as you're hitting one of them to start, whether you start mounted or unmounted. Hitting a raw Q will give you a free W proc, whereas hitting a remounting QW auto will give you a free Q proc. Remember that your new E gives movement speed and it will enhance your next auto attack or Q so you can choose where to load that damage as well. Also keep in mind that your E is not actually an auto reset, so it actually feels very chunky if you don't time it well. If you're involving combos with your ultimate, you're basically going to be able to get it off as long as you're chaining it off of another ability. Follow these rules and you'll generally have a good idea of how these rel combos function. Touching on pathing real quick, Jungle Rel has some flexibility in her first clear, but really enjoys just going for a nice comfortable full clear. It's because her clear is not only fast, but extremely healthy. I've had cases where I've gotten straight up invaded and had a fist fight at level 2, but was still healthy enough to be able to heal throughout the rest of my clear and be okay. Compared to most full clear champions though, Rel actually has decent early game presence just because of her lockdown focused kit. She's lower than average when it comes to self agency and skirmishing, but she pairs extremely well when playing with strong early game champions in a 2v2 scenario. After your first clear, I do strongly recommend continuing to prioritize your camps in many scenarios, since Rel absolutely destroys them after getting a couple of AP components. It's really funny in the late game to simply drive by and mow down the raptors as if you're a tractor. It makes you feel like an absolute unit when farming, and it's really satisfying. In the late game, just like older Rel, your role in teamfights is going to be heavily dependent on getting quality engages and identifying priority targets. Find some sweet flank angles and use your increased level of damage output in order to maximize the value you get. Overall, the new jungle Rel is a hilarious pick that I think is really worth a shot, and is probably the only way I can see Rel working in the meta right now. To be absolutely clear, even with this build, I still think this champion is dog shit, and I don't really think Rel is in a good state right now. This build is extremely fun though, so I'd recommend giving it a chance if you can. That's all from me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay fresh.